there was a question on how to use this thing, how to use the VNA to measure your antennas. Vector impedance analyzer is a tool, RF tool, radio frequency, radio signal tool that allows you to measure some of the properties of the antenna to exactly which frequency the antenna is tuned to and how well to this frequency the antenna is tuned. Let me show you then how to use the VNA to be able to measure the antenna you own. My VNA has two main screens. Uh, this is the, the screen uh, entry screen which allows you to check the tune of the antenna to a given frequency. In the top you just set the frequency. Uh, in the top line you set the frequency of the antenna you want to want to check. Let's for example let's have this thing tuned to 433 megahertz and then we will see the data from which the most important R, the VSWR, which is the voltage uh, standing wave ratio. This is information how much of the energy put into antenna will be really uh, emitted to the outside, how much of this will be reflected back. Also the impedance uh, in ohms, which right now is 14. However, bear in mind that there is nothing attached to the, um, to the port of the VNA, so we are not really measuring anything really super super useful. To measure something we have to have the antenna. So let me find the antenna. Okay, I have the antenna. I will quite honestly tell you I have no bloody idea to which frequency this antenna is tuned. The way to this thing works, uh, you screw the antenna in, try to keep the antenna far, 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 far away from uh, from anything, on any source of the, any metal, any conductive elements. And then you shoot find the frequency you want to check like for example let's change check if this 866 megahertz how well for the 866 megahertz this antenna is tuned in we see that the impedance is 56 ohm the vws r is 1.1.3 which most probably is the indication that this is 800 megahertz antenna indeed but this view we have over here is not really that much uh, that much useful because this view only gives us the information for one of the frequencies we enter. But if I go to this view, we can start having much more interesting things because we will be able to see the graph. You are able to scan the whole range of the frequencies be between the frequency A and the frequency B. Right now I will try to... I'm doing the scan of the tune of the antenna from between 600 megahertz and 1.1 gigahertz and as you can see there is a dip. We are right now measuring the voltage standing wave ratio, VSWR, and the assumption is that the lower the VSWR, the better for the antenna, because this dip on the, on the graph over here means that the tune of this antenna is somewhere here, 700 to 900 megahertz. And the dip, there is also, uh, there is a small cursor, you see here the yellow, yellow mark. We are able to move the cursor to be able to find the frequency to which this antenna is really tuned. Tuned. And this antenna apparently is tuned to 848 megahertz with the VSWR at this place at 1.027. So this is absolutely a very nice tuned 848 megahertz antenna. Of course, this thing can measure not only uh, the VSWR, it's also capable of measuring the impedance of the antenna and is also capable of measuring the S11 factor. And uh, S11 is uh, one very important measurement because because S11 is, tells you how much of the energy that you fed into the antenna in decibels milliwatts will be reflected back to the receiver and uh, heat up the receiver. Sorry, the transmitter. That's how you are supposed to use the VSWR meter. Thank you very much for watching. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spechalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!